We begin tonight with dramatic developments in a massage parlor prostitution sting. No criminal charges will be filed against the Tucson Police Department employees caught in the middle of the investigation. Earlier this year, police discovered some of their own may have been linked to unlicensed massage parlors, supposedly offering sexual services. Pima County Attorney's Office releasing new information about the case. Now on your sides, Whitney <clears throat> Clark has been following the story. She joins us live in the newsroom. Whitney, what did investigators find? Find. Good evening, Guy and Stella. Well, this is the letter we received today from the Pima County Attorney's Office. It says while there was some evidence Tucson police employees attempted to make appointments at the parlors, they can't prove they ever intended to engage in sexual acts. No criminal charges for the eight Tucson police officers and crime scene investigator at the center of an illegal massage parlor investigation. In a letter to the Arizona Department of Public Safety, the Pima County Attorney's Office wrote the evidence was, quote, insufficient to prove that any of the accused city of Tucson employees engaged in any act of prostitution. Detectives say text messages did suggest one officer successfully scheduled appointments on four occasions at Daisy's Delights, but there was no evidence he showed up. His number found on a ledger of a woman associated with the business named Destiny. She admitted to engaging in sexual contact during massages but could not remember if she was working at the time the officer came in and did not identify him in a lineup. Another officer scheduled an appointment via text message with someone named Marcella. Investigators interviewed her and she indicated she never engaged in sexual contact during her massages. None of the massage parlor employees were able to identify any of the TPD employees in a lineup. The Pima County Attorney's Office says evidence suggests sexual contact was not automatic in these massages and they can't prove any TPD employees requested sexual acts. The nine TPD employees invoked their right to remain silent and did not submit an interview in the investigation by DPS. Earlier this year, the police department fired four officers and one crime scene investigator. Two others resigned. From the newsroom, Whitney Clark, KGAN 9, on your side.